We asked Nigerians to share the stories of their mothers, the sacrifices they made for them, the journey of pain, love, devotion, and struggles made by our mothers to make us who we are today. They shared their stories with us. Thousands of entries, hundreds of interviews, and documentary across the country. 20 unique stories have been selected for us to learn from, appreciate, and celebrate. The sacrifices and devotion are real. Real people, real stories, real experiences. The emotional true life experiences being shared, narrated, and dramatized are simply captivating. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the most touching stories of our mothers. The Supermom Reality TV Show starts now. Last week, we shared two extraordinary mothers with you on this show, and we asked you to make your choice for the potential super mom. Nigerians have voted. The winner for last week's episode is... Hi viewers, I am Joseph Benjamin. I'm an actor, model, and TV host of your favorite music reality show, Project Fame West Africa. Yep, that's me. Um, today, I... I want to appreciate my mother because I wouldn't be who I am and I wouldn't be where I am today if she didn't show me the amount of love she did. She made a lot of sacrifices for me to get to where I am today, to be who I am. So I really appreciate her and I love her for the sacrifices she made. Let me share a little story with you. Something my mother did years back that still fascinates me till date. You know, when I lost my stepfather in around 95, 96, because I, I grew up with him as father. My mom single-handedly raised four children. That's, I'm second of four children. I have two brothers and a sister. She single-handedly raised us. Because when my stone lost my stepfather, well, everything took a downward turn. And it was really hard for us to cope. But she made sure she always put a, she made sure she always put a smile on our faces. She went to the extent of selling her prized possessions just so that we could go through school, we could always have food to eat and be happy. Seeing a smile on our, on our faces was always joy to her. So I, I really appreciate her for her love. I, I, I know she might be watching this right now, but mom, I just want to say I appreciate you and I love you from the bottom of my heart. So on that note, I welcome you to another exciting episode of Super Mom TV reality show where Two mothers will share their stories today and you see how they went through thick and thin to bring their children to where they are today, to make them who they are today. So sit back and listen. Today's episode of the Supermom reality show promises to be captivating and inspiring as we celebrate these two devoted mothers who went all the way to make their children's lives easier Against old odds, they came out victorious. We will be celebrating Mrs. Fola Jogun Adeshono and Mrs. Rose Ukachi Amalaha. Mrs. Fola Jogun Adeshono is a widow from Lagos State. She has six children. After the death of her brother-in-law and his wife, Mrs. Fola Jogun Adeshono took in all four of his children and brought them up as if they were hers. She is 61 years and a businesswoman. Mrs. Rose Ukachi Amalaha is a widow who lost her husband when she was about 24 years old and her two children were just babies when it happened. Mrs. Rose Ukachi Amalaha is 48 years old and a housekeeper. Mrs. Folajogun Adishana's son, Adishana Ademola, took us down memory lane with his mother's story. My name is Ademola Adishana. Mrs. Folajogun Adishana. Mugbe ya wo 1972 pelu Mr. Adetola Julius Adeshona mo bi o mamefa okunrin meta obirin meta irin ajo na ngbati mo se igbeyawo o wa very very smart a fe le ma fi igbeyawo wa toro sugbon ba to di 1983 Obresi check o ma mi kan wa lo mo odun meta 
1997, I was three years old and came back from school, was watching TV. Suddenly, I was struck with this illness. I could not speak, I could not talk, I was downfunded. Now, you know what you do? Go inside, change your clothes, and prepare your food. I'll come and join you inside now. Okay. All right, darling. Ah, wait. Yeah. Where is Demola? Oh, is that a <laughs> yeah. What is this to do when others are back well, home? Well, actually, my dad wants to spend some time with him. <laughs> Are you sure there's no problem? No, come on. He will join you very soon. After 10 days when her husband could no longer hide it from her that Demola was seriously sick, he took her to the hospital at Idumabo where he was receiving treatment. Mrs. Fola Jogun Adishono was close to tears when she saw her three-year-old son tied to the bed and throwing tantrums. He could not talk or walk. She asked for him to be discharged and the doctors were skeptical. Doctor, ni ba won se ri niyan. Oni ki ma wo ri. O la won wa on it. Ni ba ni mi ni ba ko wa on it. La tojo lo ti wa bi won ni 10 days. When she threatened to bring down the operations of the hospital to a halt, her son was discharged to her involuntarily. So I was taken to our hometown in Mojoda. Mrs. Falajogun Adishono took her son everywhere for treatment. For six months, no one could tell what the problem was till she was taken to Baba Ayelala by her father-in-law. <laughs> and he advised her to go and plead with a woman in her husband's village at Mojodaikwe. There was a woman in that place in my town. Uh, everybody feared her. Her nickname was Yamayaleki. Madam, there is something I want to tell you. And I, and I want you to tell me that you won't tell anyone that you heard it from me. Oh, see. Say whatever you have to say. My son is sick. I don't have time for games. Some months ago, I had a woman saying some incantation and she called your son's name. Eh? What did you say? No, what did you say? That is what I heard. What is the name? The name of the woman responsible for her son's illness was given to her. As soon as she heard it, she went straight to her father-in-law's house. She told him she was going to put the name of her husband's village on the news if the woman did not revert the illness took a cutlass, a cutlass and went and went to the king in our place we have Bale. Went to the Bale of the of the town. She headed for the Bale's house to relay the same message before going to Iya Mamuleke's place, the woman responsible. <laughs> A father-in-law and the ballet pleaded with her. 
They immediately sent a message to Iya Mamuleke who was cared and immediately she went to Mrs. Folajo Gumadishanu's house, rubbed some herbs on the child and it became normal. What I've said me is the boldness of my mother. You know, no people generally are very bold, and uh, she is extraordinarily bold. Ilu oni boni mo na mo te la ti London. Lo ko mi wa pe mi pe ya te mo la pe oyu to wa nu mi pe o kuni ni ma fi bi pe a mo kan wa so a so tele fu mo ni a mo wo ni. Talonsasotelefunwe Eh hey, Romana, won fe fi pa aro mi ma ni, won ma fe fo ma ipa aro mi ma ni. E ma sanu mi e ma wo, carbon copy mi ma re. Se ni won ma fe pa mi tun won fe fo ma iropo mi, ka ma fa aro gun gba to mo pe odun kan sun me ni oko mi jade laye. In fact, the news came out in daily sketch. It was terrible. And um, we were six. I'm the first the first son. I have a sister. And at that point in time, I was in JS1. Dr. Craig, there is a woman who bought a she chef food in the Odumeji. So what? And you were terrible. After her husband's death, her husband's relative told her to withdraw all her children from private schools. They also said they will put someone in charge of the husband's business, and she would be given 300 naira each month for the upkeep of her children, and also her late husband's car. Would be given to one of his relatives. One is a late one, so you say, Money, Fessy Money, a battle, Jenny, lay down more money, in Catar, the fellow, so you, a mina, a ma pemi, a boo. My father, my nanny. We sent someone to you to bring our son's car, and you refused. As if that was not enough. We sent someone to come to you. You not allow that man to go through your brother's business. We want to know why you are stubborn. Oh, it's simple. How can I take care of six children with 300 naira per month? And why should I allow you to take my husband's car? When I have six children, how do I go about that? Mato te fe egbe ni bo le egbe lo, ta le fe lo gbe fun. Sho wa nje bu ni api ti ku ko si la ye ma. Ko si ni oma e ya la arin yi mo ni mo fe mo ma e ya e la arin yi. To je po un lo ma le bo ju to property e. Please, it makes no sense to me. Eh, hey, baro abru kule no ye. It makes no sense to you. Let me tell you something. By the time I'm through with you, you will know it will make sense. Sorry, I jima to call loruko to sonje. Oh, look at that. Ibo bo bo loruko. To iwo so I jima to ko. Ibi kibi to baba mi modo dede. Eh. No. Eh. Ah. Oh. You people actually came because of me, Abi. Come on, be back soon. You got that joke? You just, you just that joke. I got super Abi. I got super Abi. I got super Abi. Happy days, he let me in. Be my bond, don't him be me or shed your bread, Ben. Ah, no bunny timber was a luma. I want my pamina, I want my shenimony, timber to judge your shoe, may or shoe man, and you need my kawaki. Mrs. Falajo additional disagreed with them. What a bad lawyer, Timmy, lawyer, call our wallet, Caudry, one key lawyer, and call for mini cafe at action. Be me near to see, call call me. Be to ri oyan mi la le ni nba ni leyin osun marun ti mi le lo lu oyin bo ma tori ko sowo ma lowo mi mo lo ko ise gedu mo lo nge gigedu loko ni opik leyin opik yen won pe bi ibi kan lori shambe mo lo nge gigedu ni be Mrs. Folajogun started timber business she would leave home as early as 4 am in the morning for business should go to the bush to see which tree would be fell, rent a truck to bring it to the sawmill. Finally, she would have to look for buyers 
Omo mefa se won oni je tin ba tin wo won le ba se ni mo nsuku e ku o de so problem ni nitori pe mo lati train awon omo yi Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Listen, what? give that money to your children. So you can come with me to London. And if things work out for you, fine. You can come back for your children. You want me to abandon my six children? Just like that. Now your business have crumbled. So how do you expect to take care of them? See, I will add some money I have in the house to this and start a small business. Though it's small, but I will still make do of it. Being with my children will give me hope to forge ahead. I cannot abandon my children. O better ke mi won meji ka joje iya yin na o. T'Olorun ba so pe mu si ma tun pada di en to ma lo lu oyin bo. Koju nkan T'Olorun le se in my life. Ma tun pada lo si lu oyin bo. Unknown to Mrs. Falajogun, four of our other children were also given admission into tertiary institutions across the country. Ba ni ko kan bre si jade school sat. Awon marun lo ni won jade school sat papo. Nitori bi won se jade won ri admission. Gbogbo won wa kun le lowo kan. Won de wa ri school si eh kana. Mrs. Falajogun addition was devastated. Mo fe le wole. But one letter of uh, appointment to one for me. But one more letter to a debola wa, Moshubu. Mommy, mommy, see, your daughter will be going to the university soon. I got my head mission. Mommy, can't you see? I got my head mission. Mommy, what? Oh my god, yeah! Oh, please help me! Help me! Help me! Please! But you suffer me, pay mommy, what you moan, nay school. To Jeppe Mosher or Shetty can, go a bush or con. Oh, woe, Paul, oh, woe, Peter. Only Mofisan, oh, woe, school now, Lord John, now long. Tabaco walk on for me, where she will read your coy. Don't need the time, she will allow all my few while on me. Waking bow, came fun and to one flat is a lay, near woe. Some of her children suggested they defer their admission. She told them she would look for a way to pay all their fees. We are going to school and there's school fees. And she wants the best education for us. There was another uh, incident. Tia mo Mary, to want to see Kipapo. It was at this point all four of our children were hospitalized and she sold her goods for 320,000 naira or because she was desperate for money to pay for their hospital bills. strong. <laughs> Most me listen. For Jometa, Moalo Sibaga, Moalo Bama Mato to no Sabecuta, Balo Beni Communia Josa Becuta, no one Ben Munia Joe, the Shin and the walk of me. One year and the walk will money more for Kay Bimini, me, Luoni. Only be a terry by a low mato. Money me, Ninisa, Monikin, Shepemo Fishere, Money Mobe, Luruko Jesu, Batuba Gimifu, or Queen Wabu, me, Titi, 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 Titi. Oloda na e wole nba wole nba ti mo de abekuta lodo omo mi ti mo ri mo nsukun o na nsukun many times she always come to enugu and i would do wonder is when i'm totally stranded 
when my mother, I'll just say my mother is here. What happened? I said she just had a dream that uh, she's not, I'm not feeling fine. And she did that for all of us. Mrs. Falakjogun Adishono sold her lands at Muwe and Okweilu to pay for Tosin's hospital bills. Last born me na Oto Sekitie. Joseph Adichung Adishona. No Gigi. Ni Olo Bama Shen Kanidari. One fish on my ya Ulo Sidari. O de 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 to de bai. Do to two e desi. One below si hilting hospital. One full labere. Moshe de betimo wu. Miss in the hospital, but one full labere. Moshe de hospital in Timo wu. Moripe a se can bona ju e can lock. Moa pe doctor ye. Oni doctor. Eti for my labere oni beni. Ah. Eti paralyze or more se or mami. And the nurse made a mistake by injecting him in the wrong place, and that affected his leg. Moniko Buru, Oniko Aboma Lossoke, Mbani, Emma Boma Milosoke, a joy loma bami wa block, wa, washing wa block for me, Timon Billy as a man. Titi, 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 or join your trout, but to my feet, D. O. Ru. Also, no rebed, Moaji. Just go and we, we. Oshima did the Bible, Shenko, she was a rebe as a new lilet. He was taken to several hospitals. For three years, he went to Ibubi for treatment. Hey, doctor! 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 See, what you, wait, what is it that I have done to you to deserve all this? What is it? Madam, take it easy. We've already served the nurse responsible. See, listen. My son's leg is still bad. And how does that change his condition? <laughs> we are doing... Don't tell me that! You are doing what? See, listen and listen good. I give you just a few days. If my son's condition does not improve, Doctor! Doctor! I swear by my mother's grave. Is it you die or you are buried alive? What happened? Go upon them. So lucky. Oh, Lori Bruku. What is it going for me? Oh, Timona Lori, I say, I did you. Oh, Kole, oh, Tamiloshi. Mo bagbe a mo toku. Wa pata. Josi ni ni mo shabre si wa after. Oh, take it first your Tamigon. That Timalo si school or do come. Tell me, I'm a jib breast, you're on rant. But keep your silly while I can say, call it bada, DSA. Today, Tosi can walk. The Supermom Reality TV Show. Mrs. Falagio Guadishana resorted to molding blocks at the redemption camp when the market was being built. When the construction ended and there was nothing for her to do, she became a food vendor, going from one church to another, selling food just to make ends meet. When your block near redemption camp, Mama Ta, Fama to fair coja, a coco in Baba, a sign in Bican, Fua won't be me, become of a coja. When your block, if one, Motunta, Iggy, my log grade, Iggy, and Nishagam, my cofuma. Nibata, I say, and Timor repay, say, if I turn at the coja, the kinema to say, I'm my old tea, Jadeta. Redemption Camp. Winners. Christ Embassy. The Supermom Reality TV Show. Owa she dear leni kan wa pe mi pe ije mo mo pe aburu oko mi sick o sick ke o ni e iru sickness wo oni igba tin ba ri mo wa so mo wa ri oni mental problem mo wa gbe mo gbe lo si aro ni abekuta ngbati mo ti gbe lo abekuta yin ba lo mu yawo yen atawon omo yin meteta ba ko won po mo awon temi ninu ile mo train awon omo yin mo ko won si school Common school, ni mo fi wansi. School jack and day. Mo fi meji si school jack and day. 
Mufikasi International Nursery School. Mrs. Folajogu Adishono took Baba John's children after his death. Bubu wa ade jombe ajo lo ajombo suddenly won pe mi pe oku. Ni aburu oko mi. Iyawo etunku 2 years later. Oma di merin mo aka won omo te merin mo akupo omo te mi. She trained his four children alongside hers. Today, most of them are graduates and are working, while the last is at the university studying. We are ten. It can only take God, who has spared your life, to train us. The Supermom Reality TV Show. Patience Ozoko, aka Mama G, is a mother of eight children. Four are our biological children and others adopted. She is known for her brilliance as an actress. Patience Ozokwa knows how to suspend disbelief in her audience. She's taken up roles as a devoted wife, a caring mother. Patience Ozokwa started acting at a young age. She was part of the cast of Hamlet while in school. She also married very early at the tender age of 19. After her husband's death, Patience concentrated on her family. She would bake cake and do odd jobs just so she can make enough money to take care of her children. Mama G is no doubt a celebrity super mom. Charity Amalaha shared with us some of the extraordinary sacrifices her mother made for her and her younger sister. My name is Charity Amalaha. My mother's name is Rose Okachi Amalaha from Abia State. She's 47 years of age and she's a housekeeper. I'm married to a warm Mr. Jacob Amalaha. And then we were married just for roughly four years. Before he died, I was uh, 26 years when he died. Her ordeal started when my father was killed back in 1990. Um, we went home for the burial, seeing that there was nothing for her and her kids back there in the East because she had all girls and there was no form of inheritance or share for her there. Uh, before he died, I don't, I'm not doing anything. I'm just full housewife. So when he died, I was so confused in life. I was so confused. So uh, after burial, I came back to Lagos. One day on a search for a job, Mrs. Rose Amalaha stumbled on her late husband's colleague who told her of a vacant position as a maid and a cook for a white man. Uh, connect me to one white woman from France. So I started working with the woman as a house gear. Mrs. Rose Amalaha went for the interview and was offered the job with a 500 naira salary. I was receiving salary of 500 naira at that time. That's 1992. When we came back from Belia, so this one, let me say that time, four years. So she was, you know, getting lean. And they had gone on change. I said, what is happening to you now? So one day I took her to, to Bafa. So I discovered that there is a lump here. So I took her to the hospital. Madam, from the series of tests we conducted, uh, we discovered she has anemia. Huh? Eh? Anemia, doctor. Is this serious? Is my daughter going to die? No, madam, she won't die. She <laughs> But we just need to operate on her as soon as possible. Doctor! Doctor, I can't do my operation. It's not too small for an operation. No, no, but that's the only way I can get rid of the mom. Please take it more. Take it easy. Help my mom, doctor. Don't take a child, don't take a baby. Okay, okay, just do it, do it. Nendo yano, biko, biko. Okay, we'll see to that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mrs. Rose Amalaha stayed with her daughter for days after the surgery was done, all the while praying for her quick recovery. I would just sit down there on the bed, just cheer that I would just sit down there, monitoring her. There was a time when my mother was praying every blessed day. From 12 a.m. to 5 a.m., she would not sleep. She was praying for God to change her situation. She was praying for God to train her children for her. Father, you said you are a husband to the widow. You are a father to the fatherless. Help me! Help me! Help me, Father. Help me get this body off me. Help me take care of my children. <laughs> Father, this is your word. You said you will be there for us. You said you will never leave us. Father, why have you neglected me? Take this body away. My mother goes through insult and humiliation just for us. She starves. She deprives herself of the good pleasures of life. She embraced pain, she embraced shame, and she has been patient. Uh, immediately after the, the burial of my husband, so I, I go back to my father's house. I went in my, because I was, uh, my father gave me one room when I was in secondary school. So I went in, uh, into that room. I knew that, I don't know how to pray much prayer that. I just, I knew that. I, I heard my flesh. I'm telling you, I say, God, hold this flesh. Do not allow this flesh to feed any man or meet a man. I'm telling you. Mrs. Rose Amalaha managed to take care of our children. Uh, I, I took them to Ahmed Children's School in Northern Barak. So they started there uh, as primary school, school children. By then, I, I don't have accommodation. She came back with no place to stay, no accommodation. Together with my mom, we had to move in with her younger sister who was living with her husband and five children in one room. Together, we were all ten in number in one room. Can we come and live with you? Just for a while till I get a job. Please, Auntie, please. You know I have five children. Uh, and we squeeze ourselves inside this world. Eh? Rose. I don't know. Uh, Auntie, please, please. My children are still very little. We won't take much space, Auntie. Eh? Just a place to rest our heads for the night, please, Auntie. I'm begging you, please. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> you can come and live with us. Uh, eh? Thank you, Auntie. Stand up. Mrs. Rose Amalaha and her two children lived with her sister and her family in a one room apartment. She did not have money for a mattress. She had to beg a neighbor for used cotton which she slept on with her daughters. So by that time, me and my children was like that. Even no money to buy mats. So I normally go to one shop and beg them for a carton. Me and my children were lie down there. So that is how I was going to that work. The Supermom reality TV show. Mrs. Rosa Malaha was called for a meeting. The company she worked with was having financial problems. And they were retrenching staff. Mrs. Rose was the only one that was fired in her department. Um, the job really did not last. The company was retrenching and they sacked her. And then her world crumbled again. So, you know, is the enemy, is the devil. Because God even show you, show you to me. You understand? He show you to me. That's because I'm in, my, in our de department, I am the head there. So, one go to a new young man. They took uh, something out of the, the kitchen we are working. I don't know they, they are going to do. I cannot say that it's their juju that uh, stopped my 
job. So I so saw because we normally every Friday we normally the white people they normally come meeting. So in that in that revelation, I saw myself. I was outside instead of me to be in that meeting. So the the boy that is you know that is following me is the one they are asking question in our department. I was blocked aside. So when I wake up, I say ah, what is happening? So before you know it, they call me. One uh, white woman like that called me in her office say that in my department is so let me they remove from there. I'm telling you, they remove me. Now her major worry was her two children. Where was she going to find money to feed them? I I can remember vividly. Um, she told me that when she came back to Lagos with us, that she was advised to take us back to the village. You want to kill me this time, Kefu? Can you make it? You want to kill me before my time? Crying, crying. Mrs. Rose Amalaha did not only lose her job, but also her apartment. She pleaded with her brother, who works as a gardener. The company he worked for gave him a room where he lived. Mrs. Rose Amalaha moved in with her children, but they had to hide in the house because the owner of the house did not want any form of family setting in his premises. Um, you know, the, as, my, as my brother will lock us inside. We'll be there. we bring water for us there until the man, when he, he see that the man has gone out, he will tell us to, to come out. When Mrs. Rose Amalaha couldn't find a job, she pleaded with a woman to give her ground nut on credit, which she fried and sold to people around. To stay very long before I got another one, so I started frying granot. I went to one of my church members. He gave, I don't have money to buy a, a load of granite, so he gave me where she was giving me one of the granite, I will fry it. Uh, three days, I will sell it, and the gain I will get on it is 30 naira. I say, God, is it uh, how we train my children? So right there, that one stopped. After some months, she found another job, which came with accommodation. So I, after, let me say, uh, after one year, God, I saw somebody say, ah, the person, since five years, I never see the person. That day, the evening that day, we just came out uh, on the gate. I saw somebody who carried carry the person past. The person just see me come back again. Say, ah, since five years, I never see the person. I told the person, I don't have work. We say, ah, she will come tomorrow. That is somebody, they sack somebody in their company, in their, in their company there, that is going to talk to the white man now from Greece. He's going to talk to him. I should come. That day was, uh, I think, Sunday. I should come on, that is a good year, this PZ. And God helped me in that one. But that, that time, my children still in uh, primary school. So I got that job, God helped me. They gave me bus quarter at Ikoi. You know, and they buy bed and the pot for me. I start the work. I started with uh, 12,000. So after three months, if my hand work is good, we increase it. So after three months, they increase it to I think 15,000. That is how so I started with them. It's charity organization that time. It's from France, uh, MSF, Medicines and Frontier. So that is how I work with them uh, five years plus. By then, my children has finished uh, secondary school. God provided another work for me, which the one I'm now at, uh, PZ the company. So after my children finish their Sunday school, so they started trying to, you know, to take exam for uh, university. So this my daughter, she 
took about she sit for exam uh, jump about four times and six that two times. So that is at uh, the small salary I was gathering. That is uh, the one I used to, you know, buy the uh, jam form. Uh, I withdraw my my all my money from the account to no avail. But God, I thank God that yeah, after uh, about three years back, so the for the junior one got uh, admission. So followed this one. They got admission. Mrs. Rose Amalaha was determined that her two daughters must go to the university. And then it was also time for us to get into the university. We all sat down and asked ourselves, where is the money going to come from? Now this is no joke, this is a serious matter. She got a job quite all right, but they were paying her penny. We eventually got into the university. My mother was doing all she could to see that she sends money to us for us to feed. From her salary that is less than 30,000 Naira, that was what we were surviving on. She'd send money for us to feed. From there, we'd squeeze out and pay our house rent. Because I discovered that uh, the, the, the education is, is what is running now. When you, when you have education, you will have good husband. You understand? You will have good job. I said, I don't want my children to, you know, it's half education that if I thought that I go to good school, I would have secured a good job. I said, my children, whether, even if I'm naked, you understand, you people must go to that university. When Charity gained admission into the university, Mrs. Rose Amalaha had to borrow some money for her school fees. So the 20, when I received my salary, I will send 10,000 naira for them, and I will save some. I will save 10,000 naira because they normally pay in their house rent, and normally pay uh, uh, 80,000, 80,000 a year. So is that one that is, it's not even their school fees, they're not house rent, because it's a year. After a year, Princess joined her sister charity at the university from a 27,000 naira salary a nice block business uh, uh, you know I have a, a one uh, standing the freezer so we normally put block maybe 20 block so I will, I will, I will save the remaining I will just be managing sometimes even two days three days I never cook I will just buy bread and buy uh, such a thing you can drink and drink and take tea. We continue like that. Sometimes I will buy some more. Uh, uh, if the day I cook a soup of uh, 500, and I will be so worried that I will spend a, a lot. I will spend a lot. She said, My daughters, I don't eat good food. I'm not complaining. I just eat bread and tea. At times, I just go to the market and buy okra with nothing inside. That is what I cook and I eat. Mrs. Rose Amalha paid their school fees and house rent at the university, starving herself just so her children would have a better future. That is it. It's only the grace of God that is helping me and my children. I just, I just, I'm grateful to the, to God I serve. My dear brother, it's not any other person that doing this, it's God. Recently, when we got back from school, she did two remarkable things that made me and my sister. We smiled. When we got into the house, she showed us the hanger and showed us a shirt. She was like, look, I bought a shirt. And my sister and myself, we looked at ourselves. And I said to myself, see, my mom is, is happy because she bought a shirt. What is a shirt? She's just wearing things that she ought not to just because of us. For her to be happy that she went to market to get just a shirt. And I was asking and praying to God to help us in this life so that we can pay her back. Mom, I want to say I love you. 
I love you so much. And I want you to know that I'm saying this from the depth of my heart because you have done so much for me. You have done so much for I and my sister. I just want to tell you I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm advising uh, mothers that lost their husband that they should not, you know, throw their children away. They should not force, abandon their children. Maybe follow the evil, uh, the men or, or the world because of enjoyment in order to, you know, to to to, to please their flesh. Yes. Um, you have actually shown what an example of a good mother entails. Um, like I said before, if I ever have to choose. I'll choose you over and over again. Now you'd agree with me that those stories are really touching. Wow. A mother's love knows no bound. Knows no bounds. But on this note, one mother has to move on to the next stage. And that can only happen through your votes. So people, please pick up your phones and start voting for your favorite mom. Send your favorite mom's name to the short code on your screen, 33070. Again, I say, send your favorite mom's name to the short code, 33070. Please, people, keep texting, keep voting if you want your favorite mom to win. My mom is my favorite mom. <laughs> but I was just joking. Please just keep doing it. That's if you want your favorite mom to win. And of course, I'm sure she'll win. So viewers, on that note, I'll say bye-bye. And I remain Joseph Benjamin. The Supermom Season 2. A celebration of our mothers. Every day they suffer for me like no other mom. If I know a job, you know a good job, you don't provide for me. Yeah. Anytime that is gone, you're strong, you're tidy, no be